It doesn't matter, you know, how old your home is, how new your home is. <laughs> the problem is for a lot of us, uh, our, we don't have smoke detectors that are working. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I think even the United States government would agree that is the number one preventative, the number one thing that you should have in your home right now. But we're giving you not one or two, how about three? Mm -hmm. I love the style of these. They really don't look like those big, clunky, eyesore, obtrusive, you know, yeah. smoke detectors that we need. <laughs> 10 year, 10 year battery. Talk about peace of mind. Wow. I mean, the packaging even says there is no chirping. I mean, for 10 years, it's a smaller footprint. It's small, but mighty. This is what a lot of us have. Right. How long has this been on the wall already? Was it in the apartment you moved into, the condo or the home, and you've just been replacing battery after battery, and you heard it chirp just a second ago, you're not gonna have to worry about chirping. You're not. First Alert is a huge leader in fire safety. Yes. And so they've evolved. They made it a smaller footprint. They've made it more accurate and that's really what's yes. important too and yes a 10-year battery life do you know actually a lot of cities are actually mandating that we have to go for a 10-year battery life Makes sense. because the majority of all home fatalities in a fire are blamed on Most faulty of smoke detectors Most of and them. it's you know we didn't replace the battery it's as simple it's as that so you put this up and you're covered the u.s fire administration actually recommends smoke detectors on every floor of your home, in every bedroom, outside those sleeping spaces, in the hallways. And you know, that really can add up. You bet it does. And also clutter up the walls. Sure. But more importantly, this isn't something that you would be nice to have. It's, it's fire essential. Ministry. It's required. It's essential. Here's the other thing. In fact, Suzanne Rodney is coming up with our power lift recliner, which mm -hmm. I, I'm a little jealous. I have to be honest. That's a personal passion project or item that we have. But Suzanne is going to be launching that at midnight. I know, sadly, in her family, I believe there was even a death surrounding a house mm -hmm. fire. I know Adam and Chelsea. Adam was on uh, just moments ago with Susie Orman. It seems like we're all affected in some way. You need to have a smoke detector. This is obviously not a luxury item, and it's really hard to say no to this, especially because it's part of our holiday gift preview. You're looking at an $11 flex pay. Here's the other thing. If you for, forget and factor out the peace of mind, mm -hmm. how much money would you spend on batteries over the course of that 10 years? And here's the problem. If you're saying, oh, well, I haven't spent, you, you haven't spent that much because you probably have done what I shamefully have done. You've taken the broom handle or you got yep. the ladder, because it's like Murphy's Law, the smoke detector, it's going off at three, four o'clock in the morning. Right. It's like, I just need to make it stop. So what do you do? You take the batteries out or you don't replace and you put them it off. and you put it off. Mm -hmm. But say you are doing what you should be doing. Every six months. Every six, is it that what it is? Well, they say you definitely test it every six months, okay. daylight savings time, yeah. but then you want to make sure the battery's there and we get complacent. We we hear a chirp and we're like, oh, it's just a smoke detector. It's annoying, especially when it's in the middle oh, of the night. Sure. And also, you know, the efficacy on these is about 10 years. Uh -oh. So if you've had it for longer than 10 years, you're getting false positives. It's sure not as are. accurate and not as sensitive to the smokes. And that's what's really great about this. That. So if you burn the popcorn in the microwave, mm -hmm. so I don't have to worry about a lot of false alarms with this. Exactly. The photoelectric cells in here are more accurate. Have you ever gotten steam from the shower oh, that sure. has set this off? Yep. So you don't have to worry about it. And I know we're talking gift giving. The gift is that peace of mind. I sent these out to my mother. She, she was like, why? And then I was like, mom, you don't have to get up on a ladder for 10 years. You don't have to ignore that chirping that you have to happen. Or I can set this up. And you know what? She used two of them and she gave the third one to my sister. And my sister who actually, she moved into grandma's house. Yeah. And these smoke alarms, <laughs> on the wall for like 30 years. Oh yeah. Because yeah, we've been replacing the batteries, but how effective is it? I know. Another thing First Alert has done is they're giving us an 85 decibel smoke alarm. And it's not just a monotone smoke alarm, it's nope. a sweeping tone. Now why is that important? A the, sweeping tone. We all hear different levels, especially sure. when we're asleep. Okay. So it has a high pitch, it has a lower sound, you'll hear it right now. Oh goodness gracious. Right? Yeah. And that sweeping tone is great because the sooner we hear it, <laughs> the sooner we can get out of the house. Because when you think about it, listen to this statistic. A few years ago, it was about, we had about 17 minutes to get out of the house. Okay. They say three. <gasps> no yeah. way. Three minutes to get your, your gold box, to get everything out of the house. That's why if you can put these in more places, out in the garage where you know maybe your washer and dryer out there. So the sooner you hear that 85 decibels, you know it's you, not a false you alarm. You better go. You're up, you're getting the kids the valuables and everything out of the house. Okay, three minutes. When I steam broccoli in my microwave, I do <clears> it for three minutes. Okay. So yeah, I, guess my whole, I guess my whole point is, in the time it takes you to steam broccoli in your microwave, mm -hmm. which ain't long, 
tick tock, tick tock. That's how much time you have. And that's not to be alarmist, but the truth of the matter is you probably, and this is not to be judgmental, but you probably do not have working smoke detectors mm -hmm. in every place that you should. And, and again, it just, it, it happens. <clears throat> we all have good intentions, but you know what you do? It's like, oh, I haven't tested it. Is the battery still good? Oh. <laughs> and you just, you just don't know. My mother has taken them off the wall because she wants to hang a portrait. Right. She's like, I don't like it there. I'm like, mom, we need it there. I know. Or, you know, they did a home design show. They painted over one of these. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that's a no-no. It even says it right on there. Don't oh, paint them. I didn't so the smaller that. footprint, people think this is a speaker. They think it's actually a security camera. It's really attractive. It's really it? and easy enough for you to put on the wall. I love the fact on here. It has the date 2019. You don't have to replace this or get up and test it for till 2029. Yeah. I mean, what is the peace of mind of that? 10 year battery, and that's the other thing. True. If you go and look online for First Alert, for their Atom Micro smoke detector, they might not have the 10 year battery life. Right, so which, might... which let's be honest, if you're gonna buy anybody's smoke detector, mm -hmm. uh, hello. First Alert. It, it's gonna be First Alert. Right. I mean, it really is. I will tell you, these are going, we've sold tens of thousands of them, and this is a holly, holiday gift preview. If you are new to HSN, first of all, welcome. We have hand-picked and curated the best mm -hmm. of, not only gifts for giftables, for the Christmas and Hol uh, Hanukkah and holiday season, of course, but gifts that you should have for you. You can't put a price on that peace of mind. And I don't care if it's someone like Allison, our, our mm -hmm. producer and friend, they just moved into a brand new house. Right. This is a great housewarming. This is a great new mom. This is a great new, hey, I, I can't remember if I replace my smoke detectors. Plus, these are pretty to look at. It's something you should just do. But like you talk about their new home. They yes. probably know when the roof was replaced and the furnace. Sure, you're right. What about the smoke detectors? You're Absolutely They don't right. know. You're they got right. little kids. Yes. And the thing is, you can upgrade this as a gift. You can upgrade it for them and they won't even know, but you know they're protected because they'll hear it. It's more um, f it's more sensitive, but more accurate. Yes. It's a smaller footprint, but it's louder. And that 10-year battery life, that's a huge peace of mind. It is. I put these in for my mom. She does not have to get up. I, You know, out in her garage, she yeah. didn't have a smoke detector because they didn't require it. Oh, do you know what? I don't either now that you say and that. And the thing is, that's where my I mom's don't. washer and dryer is. She'll oh, often, you know, run the dryer sure. at night, dryer fires yeah. in the attic. People put them in their boats and their RVs because they want to be alerted. Some of yeah. us sleep hard and we want, we want that 85 decibel sweeping tone to really alert us and the kids. Sorry, that is loud. And you want it loud. Uh, but you know what yeah. you do, and you want mm -hmm. that sweeping tone, and frankly, it's something you should have. You don't need Bill or I to tell you you should have this. If you're saying, what, well, I've got smoke detectors, when's the last time you replaced the batteries? Yeah. Do you know if they're in great working order? Do they have that sweeping tone alarm, which right. has been proven to be more effective? chances are they haven't. Do it for you, do it for yourselves, do it for a loved one, anybody that you love and care about, whether it's a new mom or it's a housewarming or if it's for anybody, I think we can all agree this is something we all should have. And if you're going to bother to buy anybody's smoke detector, you don't need me or Bill to tell you, it, you, you want a first alert. Right. And the fact that you don't even have to consider how much am I spending in batteries over mm -hmm. the course of that 10 year period, oh. that's a big deal. That's and a big actually, deal. When you think about it, it comes out to about $23 for one of these. Okay. But then the fact that you don't have to worry about it for 10 years, that, yeah. so that's $2.30 a year. How much you spend on these? And that's for really sure. where it just pays for itself. I love the ease of installation. I love the fact that you can put it up anywhere. Yeah. I like that it's only, it's, it hasn't been on all weekend. They no. saved it for your show tonight. Yeah. And the thing is, you can do this as a gift. You for can do it sure. as a gift for yourself. And one other just statistic to leave you with. Three out of five fatalities in a fire yes. are based on faulty smoke alarms. Okay. We're preventable. Exactly. So three out of four. Out of five. Out, yeah, out of five. Majority. Were, mm -hmm. you know. Just because the smoke alarm wasn't working. Right. The batteries weren't there. They, yeah. they removed it from the basement because yes. it was chirping all the time. Yeah. And they never replaced it. No. You can put these everywhere. They're, they're more sensitive, but they don't go off when you burn the popcorn in the microwave. But it, and it's yep. a set of three. Don't have to worry about batteries for 10 years. It's on a six pay flex pay, as is everything oh. that you'll see on the air for the next three hours. Oh. I am so excited about our today's special. Okay, you are so lucky that you saved a few of these for me. Just a few. <laughs> I mean, when... And